after performing a rover setup and a system check, SiteWorks is going to automatically just put you into measure mode. So as you can see here, um, at the very top of my screen, it tells me that I'm in measure mode along with the project name that I'm in. But you can look at the info bars and not see any cuts and fills or design elevations. And that's because I'm outside of my design. So after I check into point number one, I can walk down here into the parking lot and you'll see as soon as I enter into the design, I get cuts and fills as well as design elevation. So um, you're always going to get your design elevations if you have a TTM loaded as a design. So even in measure mode, so we're not necessarily in stake mode yet. So if I hit the measure button here, it's going to think that I want to take a topo shot because I'm in measure mode. So it's giving me the current cuts and fills to my design, but I'm actually just taking topo shots if I hit the measure button. So we want to cancel out of this and we want to physically go into stakeout mode. So to do that, we go up to the top left corner, hit the menu button go to stake, and then it says to select object. So based on the different things that are in our design, we can choose a point, a line, or a surface. So in this case here, um, you can pick on that point, you can pick on a line, or if I click just in an open area, it's going to grab the design surface. So you can see it pulled the finish grade up, and the stake method is going to be surface. So if you want to do it a different way, you can also come up here to this menu button, click on that, and you'll have the choices up top as well. So you have the point, the line, the corridor, or the surface. So if you have a surface in there, it shows up with the name, hit accept, and then just hit accept one more time. And now you're in stake mode. And the difference here is now if I come down here into the building pad and I hit the measure button down below, it's going to actually pull up my stake writer so I can put a stake in the ground. I can measure up uh, the number here, 0 0.56, and put a fill six in there as a stake. Or I can just, you know, write down this information or whatever I want to do here. So it gives me the information. If I hit accept, it stores that as a stake point. While you're staking out a surface, you can add a surface offset to your measurements. So on the top info bar you can see that I have a zero offset so this button right here is going to change my vertical offset and if you don't have this in here you can go to your menu button and go to settings and go to info bar panel and you have the option here to change your info bar or your info panel so we're going to add it to the info bar and you can see that my second one down is surface offset so add that to your info bar and you will have the option to quick pick this surface offset. So right now you can see that my fill is 6.56 and my pad elevation is 536.5. So what I can do is click on this and because it, it has this, um, it's black, it's going to be able to be a quick pick off of my info bar, just like the antenna height is. So I can click it. And I can put in a 1.5 vertical offset. You could change that to perpendicular if you were on a slope, but on a flat plane, you want to use vertical and then our offset direction, click the bar here and say below. So it's going to give us an 18 inch surface offset. Hit accept. And now you can see that my design elevation has updated to 535. So now I'm actually staking the subgrade of that slab and my fill has also updated. So to get that back to zero, you can click on this button again, and this will take you back down to zero. So you can change that and just hit accept, and now you're back to zero. So I, I definitely suggest um, keeping that set to zero unless you're actually staking the uh, offset. And then if you do change that, just make sure you put that back to zero so you don't have any mistakes. So in addition to staking out with an offset, you could uh, do a stakeout of a plane, so a flat plane. So you can go back up to the home button here, and if you go into change stake object, so if you don't have a surface 
in here and you just want to make up your own elevation for a flat surface, you can come over here to these this top three buttons here. And the one in the middle is for staking a plane. So if you click on that, this will tell you here the plane type is a level plane and you can change this as well. So you can do a sloping plane or a three point plane. So we'll choose level plane and then you can just choose the elevation that you want. So if you wanted elevation 500, you can just key that in any elevation that you want. And you can also add in your surface offset here too. So if you wanted to put a subgrade in there, you can do that the same as we did before. And if you hit accept here, so now my design elevation is going to be elevation 500 and I can pretty much go anywhere on the job. So even though if I go out here to the street, even though I'm outside my design area for the job site, it's still going to give me this cuts and fills to elevation 500. So this is really nice for you staking out uh, footings and things like that that you know the elevation of. You can easily just key the elevation in and if you wanted to change that, you just have to go back to this button right here and this will take you back to your settings for that plane and you can make changes there as needed.